Hello and welcome everyone to today's Bingo Bash match between Harmion and Yoyo Swift. Today I'm gonna commentate this match with Apple Freezer and MB. Hello. This is the last match of the first round. Oh, is so, it? Yeah, after this we conclude concluded the whole first round. And then Alright, alright. Exciting, and we see. In just a moment, our board is going to go live. Yeah, just a short info, this will be a one-line bingo on a normal length board. And it is not a lockout, so they can overlap. So, Indeed. initial thoughts. I see Le Leviathan Bones, and I have never done the quest, and it scares me. I heard Leviathan Bones is a really long one. It I is, haven't so... done it myself yet. So it's... That might be row one and column two knocked out. That might be. There's also 50 Koroks, which is a pretty hard go. Yeah, we Can't saw be viable. that earlier. We saw that earlier. Um, CBF got pretty, well, fairly close. Um, and then it was actually, was it you, Zinpars, who was against yeah. CBF? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that was you. That was your match. <laughs> um, you did go for the more reasonable amount of 35 and you were able to do that within an hour I want to say but yeah 50 is still pretty high yeah it's very hard you have to have extensive extensive core knowledge for it mm -hmm. I want to say row 5 isn't too bad yeah I looked at that and it more seems more. almost too easy but maybe I'm missing something the thing is just, um, I mean, you have to travel to a lot of places. You have to travel to Farron, you have to travel to Akala to get the shady customer thing. Oh, but you, since you go into Akala, the camera, right? Yeah, yeah, For... right, exactly. Okay. But since you go into Akala, you probably go through Hatena anyways, because it's not too far away. Yeah, and there's going to be a great ferry at Akala, so that's some great synergy. That is nice. <laughs> Exactly. And what about what... Ruby routing on that one? I mean, we're talking the third ferry. Is that up to 10,000 rupees? Or is it's it 1k, no, no, no. I think? Or is 1, it just 000. 1k? Oh, that's a big difference. Yeah, no, it's just 1k. You're right. It's oh, 100, 500, and then 1k. It's the fourth ferry that's the 10. Yeah, that is okay. a really big goal. So yeah. <laughs> you actually had okay, to do so four three... ferries. <laughs> yeah, three is much more reasonable then. Yeah, there's also like lots of luminous ore at Faron if you need it. Or the more optimal play would probably be grab some rare ore here and there. If you know the locations. I have to um, say, row four yeah. is kind of an interesting synergy with um, <laughs> the Nero Koroks, Fusora set, and remaking a champion's weapon. But still. Oh. Still making. Yes, but also doing no. Ruta. <laughs> nah. I don't know. Um, so Mules is reminding us in the chat that Shady Customer, and I was actually looking that up. Um, so let's take a picture of Kelton. So that means that you would have to beat Ganon or a Divine Beast to make Kelton. Oh, Kelton right. doesn't appear for that. Okay. Nope. Oh, but yeah. you don't need a Divine Beast for it. He He's there like once, but you can't buy anything. So you can make a picture. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Oh, so okay. So well. you could do the picture, but you could. Okay. That's interesting. Exactly. Like, there's the the guy who wants to, who gives you the quest that says um, where Kilton is, and then you can pay, take a picture of him and just bring it to him. Okay. Yeah. We should also look a bit of at the other rows. Like, there's also a remake a champion's weapon that you don't really want to do, and the Sora set, unless you actually want to go for the synergy that Apple suggested. But I think other than that, there um, there's not really bad goals. So maybe row two would be. Not too bad. Uh, column five. Just looking at that, it doesn't seem too bad either. The trial on the cliff. I'm trying to remember exactly which one that is. Oh, it's labyrinth. labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, That's it's not, labyrinth. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's really not that bad. I mean, it's not out of the way. I mean, it's not. Well, it is out of the way, but it's it's not like within Hebra. Like you don't need more than like one cold protection kind of thing, like, you you could probably get in and out of there pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. It's getting there with, like, castle BDB maybe to castle and then just 
couple of fast wind bombs or just go into Rito fast. I guess um, woodland Koroks are like between or, or on the way to that labyrinth as well. Ah, so it's yeah. not too bad. So you probably go in <clears throat> to Hyrule Castle around there somewhere and then just go to the woodland Koroks. Yeah, I see a question in chat about the Thunder Magnet. That is the stable, the lakeside stable in Farron. You have to take the axe from the horses, like the, you know, stable horse's head. And the match has started. Woo! Yes. Ooh, so we <laughs> see going for a Korok right away, Swift is. Yes. Uh oh, does that mean 50 Koroks or maybe only 10? Ooh. I would probably say 10, but nothing decided yet. Right. Maybe we see something hand, we don't see. We have Harm going for the classic combination of bows, a bow on top, and then an arrow. So he is instantly able to do wind bombs because he can, can get his bullet time in. And then Swift goes for a pause champ. <laughs> Hard container. Ooh. Always useful when you're wind bombing. I see Mount the Bear on the on the, <laughs> on the thing. I know I know about that. It's not a bad goal, but <laughs> it doesn't have any synergy. So like the bat. I mean, it's generally a pretty fast goal because it, there's like one around Kaya One. Yeah, Dueling Peaks area has has a bear. Or two, so not too bad. Yeah, looking at the last couple of matches that we've had, we've definitely seen some where if runners, you know, aren't exactly sure what they're going for, um, they just end up wasting some time. Um, so generally, I would say just commit to a line, go for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but it also just helps to have some knowledge. Even you can see the commentators. We've had some questions about, you know, okay, well, what a, what exactly is what a, exactly is a requirement for those different things? And we do have, I'll shout out our Zinpar's own cheat sheet is a very helpful resource for that. Um, but it takes time even to look through that, and uh, it's just nice to know some of these things off the top of your head. Um, so when you see our bingo runners maybe, you know, changing decisions midway or something. I mean, it's part of you wants to be sympathetic and say, oh, you know, this is, it's, it's not easy <laughs> to know all of that. And part of me says, well, that might've cost you your match. So. Yeah, and we got our first square already, any rusty equipment. Now I'm not sure if that means that, uh, was that yo yeah, that Yo-Yo is going for this a line with that square. Because last yeah. time I saw that, I just got debated, so <laughs> you never know what those pitch <laughs> goals. Yeah, I would say it was probably just too convenient not to grab, you know? It's it's not out of the way, so... There's still a chance, if he's actually going for 50 Koroks, then he could be doing column 1. I don't know how good Yoyo Swift is with Koroks, so... He might be practicing something in that accord. Yeah, good question. I've looked at their speedrun.com profiles and Yoyo Swift has been doing lots of category extensions like all mini games, max champion tunic, but I didn't see any Korok categories. He does know his plateau Koroks though. Does he know Hunter fairly well? I I don't know, I'm not sure about that. Maybe learning Hunter right now. Could be. You never know. See harm going for a PTB looks like it. It definitely does. What has harm done on plateau? Just pretty much the standard food, shield, arrows. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nothing special yet there to be seen. So. Yeah. Uh, that looks like a PTB to hot uh, to Kakariko. Definitely. Indeed, so we might see like a camera maybe. Be some camera stuff. Or Coco's cooking quest. It's also a possibility. It's true. 
four Coco's cooking quests might seem like a lot at first, but as long as you know like what you need, it's actually not too bad. I think it's just butter and apple, uh, some of which you can buy right at the shop next door. Um, the meat, so it's really, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's you can nice. buy two things, and the other two you can get on Plateau. Just have to remember it. Okay, Aero Swift also getting the arrows. Fire and ice yeah. arrows can always be useful for either cooking or um, sleeping at oh. a campfire and chante, or just Korok too hard. Oh, I hate this Korok. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, kind of go. fast, but at the same time, it's it's sometimes weird. It just falls out. Oh, so I'm getting the sledgehammer here. Interesting. That could be useful for ores. Maybe that means it needs money. It could be useful for taluses, but I don't know. Yeah, there's but a talus nearby. I'm curious if he yeah. goes back to that talus. Goes kind of in this direction. Oh, he does. Looks like it. Uh. <laughs> Maybe three great fairies? Could be. Maybe Desert Vo headband that also needs a lot of money. Oh, I didn't get the initial hit. Oh, that's yeah. bad. <laughs> Could have gone for the single hit there. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't die. Because I don't know. I guess he got an autosave when he picked up the hammer. Does look really scary though. Because I never know what actually hurts. Uh, for Coco's cooking quest, yeah, the fourth one is honey. We go. You can easily get honey on, on Plateau. And yeah. I don't know other honey spots. And <laughs> I've I think there's never one. Done Coco's quest. <laughs> I think there's one near Hateno. So if you're doing camera, you can go back again afterward. That makes sense, yeah. If you're not sure. The one plateau is always there. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't know it was a the ruby and an opal. Well, I think two opals. So decent from the talus, but not the best orangey there. Yeah, it could have been better. Okay, now he's probably going to do a wind bomb to Kakariko. If he gets a super launch, he will get oh. Oh, that's pretty much what? the opposite of a super launch. Yeah. How did that even happen? Yeah, it looked really. It looked like a good weird. setup, and then boom. Maybe slightly misplaced or waited too long. Oh, Yoyo is going for push BTB. Didn't get the freeze. Waited too long. Well, for any of our spectators I, I always like to remind people it is so easy to die in breath of wild bingo <laughs> indeed so at least when make... you if it well it depends on how good your your auto save is unless you did a hard save um hard saving does mean you'll need to either reload or redo your bingo file um but the the one grace in dying is that you get the full three hearts back afterward. Mm -hmm. So Harm cancelled his mid bomb during the setup because he saw a goat and really wanted the raw meat. Which could be an indication for Coco's cooking quests, or it could just be extra food that he wanted. So that makes me curious if he's that. doing column five, because if he's I mean if we think he's digging the money for the great fairies. Interesting. We'll just have to see. <laughs> sounds sounds pretty much like column 5. Okay, Harm didn't get the super launch, but he can get some extra apples here. And Yoyo sadly missed the push BTB again, which is probably one of the hardest BTBs in my opinion. Because it's all, like you, you can't have like a... Or at least I haven't managed to get a consistent setup where you always push the old Coblin the same distance. 
and then it's really hard to always adjust your bullet time timing. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> a couple of those BDBs, but <laughs> I'm never sure if I'm getting it right. One more time. I honestly, I mean, you, you'd you have to fail it a good bunch of time for it not to be worth it, though. I mean, if you can get it right, that is, it's pretty rewarding. Oh. Push a little bit too far there. Okay. Oh, double, double, double push, BTB? Ah, oh. uh, too bad. Sure. Enough, harm, right. harm is oh. going into the shop. So that would give us some indication that he is going for that square for Coco Cooking Quest. Selling all this ore. And wait, he did mark dubious food, but unmarked it again. Did anyone see why? I haven't did seen he eat it. it? <laughs> it have just been a, a mistake. I've done it before where my computer screen just got like grayed out and I clicked, not realizing I was actually clicking a square. <laughs> Maybe just want to mark it with right click or something. Could also be. It yeah, looks like doing Coco's cooking quest here. Indeed. Yeah, it does take uh, it does take some time to Oh, hold on. Oh what a letdown. That that looked so um promising. Okay, Yo Swift now decided to go for um wind bombs instead of the PTB. Yeah, so some some good um wind bombs can Get you to the same spot as a BTB usually. Just need got... some more wind bombs, some more food. Also got super there. Yeah, the main problem is probably um, the food, since um, this can be really tight in bingo. Since there's no real food routing that's like um, you can use for everything. Indeed. I mean, maybe you can call Kaya One Forest food routing, <laughs> but. Yeah, if you don't go there at the start, like sometimes it doesn't fit in your route, then it's kind of tough. Exactly. But the fact that Swift now go, um, want to go for the BTB tells me he's probably only going for 10 Koroks. Because else there would have been many Koroks on the way, maybe. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that's a good theory. Tend to get one of those annoying acorn Koroks. But he does know the strats to make them easier. Yeah, the bullet time is really important there because else it's, it's it feels like impossible to hit them. Mm -hmm. Are those the ones you can use stasis on? I've heard you can do that, yeah, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Definitely a helpful strategy, but still takes. And it's still risky. I mean, you could... Arrows are a fairly important commodity in bingo. You definitely don't want to waste too many of those. Mm -hmm. Time is kind of getting, <clears throat> getting some fairies, which are some good food. And fast. Fast food. Yeah. <laughs> okay, not, not that kind of fast food. <laughs> also some other food here. Uh, there's some more uh, Endura carrots that also heal a lot. I'm he not gets, sure what he was looking he got, for. Though. He got two of those Endura carrots. So he's going for um, fairies, looks like. Also, I saw he didn't shoot the blue pea. So not getting those free um, rupees. Sometimes <laughs> can be crucial. Maybe worried about his arrows. Maybe he thinks that he's going to get enough rupees anyway. If he knows some rare ore locations. But yeah, since free free fairies, um, it's pretty manageable to get that much um, money. Yeah, and Yoyosuf has like... a small problem currently, which oh. is this guardian behind him. Yeah, also it's like right. a pretty nice bad dodge. spot. Oh, yeah. using the updraft, maybe with midair. Yeah, we're not exactly sure what our runners are going for, but we have some we have some hints. <laughs> Definitely they both have a good decent start on things. 
Also, we saw Yosef doing a manual save there, which was probably a smart decision because if he was gonna die there, he could have been put back to maybe one of the Koroks that he did. Yeah, probably the latest Korok. As far as I know, um, with Dwight auto saving. <laughs> yeah. But who does know about <laughs> how it really works? Just gonna hope that he has his um, bingo files backed up or anything so he doesn't have to redo the whole thing. The whole setup. Yeah, I'm going for a uh, back air and back the wind bomb towards Haru Castle. Yeah, what is Harm going for? Oh, yeah, he hasn't completed all the cocos cooking quests. He was probably missing the honey. Ah, that could be. Sounds but he's most likely going for column five at this point. So we see Swift going into Impa, or at least we can assume so because he's at the steps to Paya. So what is that going to? What does Impa help with on this board? Um, definitely the camera. Uh -huh. Oh, so maybe that is the shady customer then. Yeah, that could be row five. Yeah. Could so also be row one. Could still, be, okay. uh, could still be column one. Oh, you think he's going for a little Thias in bed? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, if you look at the <laughs> rows with the Koroks, it's either going to be column one, row five, or possibly even column four for the line of safari. I mean, it could still be row one. Probably not. <laughs> Pretty sure. With plateau <laughs> Koroks. <laughs> so a mix up, maybe. Don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Getting the Koroks for the extra um, shield slot or something. Oh. <laughs> But the most viable would probably be on row five, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we know where Harm is going? Well, Harm just got a honey. Ah, oh, okay. Didn't know about this honey. So, Kaiwan Forest is right. Just getting some food as well. Definitely never wrong. Picking up those radishes, gotta love them. Also, the endure shrooms very useful if you're um, cooking them and if you're sometimes climbing something and it's just like not enough. You can either do like a um, spider um, wind bomb or just eat some of the food and climb a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And Harm is currently at Kaya One Forest, where you can grab lots and lots of food. It's a forest used in many of our Breath of the Wild categories to stack up. Okay. Indeed. Close to Plateau, uh, close to many shrines. Very useful. Okay, but it just got sold out in um, Kakarika for Yoyo Swift. He <laughs> bought all of them. Wow. <laughs> Someone's really fan of butter here. So, ah, okay, going probably for the light yellow dyed hiding hood. Looks like column one at this point. Oh. Yeah. All right. Does, butter does is, I guess, butter, <laughs> butter does. Butter yeah, is well, light yellow. Butter. Oh, yeah. It is. Is it, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I will. I, I have even been debated one time. I uh, thought yellow and light yellow were the same thing, not realizing <laughs> that they are two different dye colors. <laughs> Fair enough. And I'm checking goat butter is in the light yellow column. <laughs> you need five of the item to dye. Exactly. So, no wonder you bought them all. Did, did he get five? Yeah. Okay. It's exactly five in the shop. Convenient. Bought all of them. Could probably buy more in Hateno, I think. Don't know if they still do this like go butter there. I think so. I have no idea. Maybe finds eggs on the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So currently, Harm is cooking his food to make it more efficient, regenerating more health, and giving extra hearts. And also the stamina food to do some extra mid-airs or 
some more climbing, like Apple mentioned earlier. Now he's off towards castle. I don't think he needs castle. Or maybe he's going towards the woodland corox. Yeah, maybe woodland corox exactly. Just fought the ball. Would make sense if he's going for column five. Yeah, we did see Kent, also Torrent, towers Coco, and Great Fairy, so... Yeah, and also towers Hebra, I guess, since if you gotta get the Hebra's Labyrinth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Muse mentioned something interesting in chat. Um, while we were pretty afraid of 50 Koroks in column 1, it does synergize with 12 Lanero Koroks. So technically it's only 38 extra Koroks. Fair enough. If you're if you're comfortable with Koroks, sure. <laughs> if you're not comfortable with Koroks, like I I would be, uh -huh. that would definitely not be a role for me. Yeah, I don't think I would have picked it, but I can definitely see how it could be good. We have a second guardian interaction going on here. Also Hi. on flat land again. Oof, nowhere to hide. So he goes for the snipe. But will it buy him enough time? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Pretty close, very good. <laughs> Could have ended really bad there. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, he's in the fairy. He's in the fairy. to the rescue! Oh, and Tapir noticing the dubious food in his inventory. Uh, does that mean he should have marked it off already, though? Normally, I think the rules are... You basically have to mark it off if you get it. Maybe what happened is he clicked it and didn't realize he unclicked it. That could be. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, perhaps, yeah. I don't want to go any shame him, shade and hearty and harm here. <laughs> mm. I mean, we're going to see once he marks the next square, he'll realize. Ah, he has rock hard food and not dubious. Beggars said that. Interesting. So maybe what happened, he thought he cooked dubious food and then realized that, wait, that's not actually dubious food. <laughs> that would, okay, that okay. would make a lot of sense. That could have, that could have been it too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Oh, Didn't take that much. Bump. Yeah. Currently wondering if he gets, if he's going to go to castle to maybe stock up on some supplies. Or we just going by castle, going to say to woodland. Yeah, if he lands here, he's going to get the cutscene, most likely. Probably. Yeah, he's already oh, seen the map. Gonna... Ooh. You already see the map on his... Um, like, on the bottom right. And then means castle is loaded. Yeah, I was really worried there because he was being targeted by a guardian. And if you get the cutscene while being targeted, uh, it often ends in death. But I think he's fine now. Yeah, yeah. There you he acquired it before this... landing. Okay, you can't buy goat butter in um, Athena. I see that. Okay. <laughs> there's a, just got his light yellow um, head and hood. Mm -hmm. So, two out of five. It's already oh, two. One is probably what we're seeing here. Okay, that's interesting. He bought the hearty truffles um, just for food because he's really low on food. Yeah, but it's very good. Can yeah. cook them now and getting some extra hearts there. He doesn't need the money anymore. Surprised he didn't buy the Endure Shrooms. If he has spare money, don't even know. Probably. Oh, I'm getting unlucky with those wind bombs. I'm just having to go for the the drown strat to get you back on solid land. Oh man. Yeah, Swift going for the weapon smuggle to get the flame up to the to the lap to get the camera. I mean we yeah this row one has got some nice synergy between you have to go to Hateno for your dying of clothing. You have to get the camera in Hateno. And you got the two Koroks together, so that isn't, I will say, some nice synergy. 
having some <laughs> having some um, bad memories about this yesterday. My, twice um, it blew up my um, square bomb when I tried to wimp bomb with the flame. It happened twice in a row. That was really bad. Yeah. yeah so what's happening right now? Like Yoyo -Yo is doing weapon smuggling to um, carry the torch. Um, even through the wind bombs and through running, which uh, speeds up this quest immensely. And it is indeed allowed. It's a very convenient trick, not too hard. Like, you have to get used to the inputs, uh, but it's, I would say, it's one of the easier tricks in this game. It's, um,. Really important, just learning wind bumps there <laughs> for this, probably. It's probably the main yeah. hard thing to learn. Even if you can't do wind bumps, you can still whistle sprint the whole way up with the exactly. torch. It's so... way faster than the normal strat. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what the optimal bug limit strat is, I guess. Or glitchless. But I, I would assume that... Uh, or, or just wind bomb last strat, I don't know. But I assume it still involves weapon smuggling. For it was about throwing. How do you throw it? Oh, okay. Since throwing doesn't um, put out the fire, and you can pick it back up and it's still burning. That's interesting. Well, here's, um, I'm getting so some more see... backup food. Swift is going through mashers to get all of his camera-related things. Good thing for you, uh, Swift is as well here. Um, <laughs> once he's done with camera, he could go for the Nehru Koroks and just get this, um, get all the get all the food in Kaiwan. Yeah, that's some good um, a good combo there. Um, he does not need to go back to Kakariko because it's on the picture memory. So, well, he he kind of has to go back to Kakariko though for, to get to the Lanero Koroks. Would be the fastest way, probably. Yeah, but first getting some easy Koroks in Athena. Yeah, good idea. Because fifty Koroks are not to be underestimated. And once you run out of um, knowledge where the Koroks are, it's getting harder if you actually have to search for them. Oh, he's going into the cold region. He was even prepared with some cold, cold resistance food. Ah, it's going. Uh, he's going to a call, I guess, to get a picture of Kelton. Then, that's what I assume. Oh, the cold resistance food is not enough. Uh oh, oh, it is sometimes enough. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny that higher up it's less cold. <laughs> but maybe it's just like not quite in the snow. Yeah, here it's too cold again for his cold food. It doesn't have too much food. Um I think so. So it's pretty dangerous to go up there right now. Uh, maybe he just wants this single Korok. Which takes a lot longer than I expected, because I thought those were only five flowers. <laughs> yeah, these are a lot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're seeing some huh? Korax yeah. going on on both both sides of the screen here. Going back to Talonek. Probably going to get the Nero Korax, I guess. Yeah, he could make a pit stop at the fairy fountain to get the fairies like Harm did. Probably a good idea, yeah. Also, like, fairies are always useful if you fail a wind bomb and you die, even before you thought, you thought the um, wind bomb would work, and not getting sent back to um, 10 minutes of progression. <laughs> it's just lost. There are many causes of unexpected deaths, like maybe a stall moblin sniping you, dealing, like, Three hearts of damage or whatever. Huh. 
Oh, I'm trying to climb this well to complete this core rock. Oh, this core looks like hell. Okay. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope he's safe from Stolfos up here. Like, I don't know if they can spawn or target him while he's up there. I don't think he has that many arrows. It's gonna be really oh. close to running out of arrows. Yeah, he, he nice. should oh. probably give up here. Yeah, probably doesn't even have enough oh, yeah. arrows. Ah, yeah. This is up. one single shot. Yeah. Oh. That's frustrating. Oh, arrows. <laughs> <laughs> one? Was that just one I, arrow? I don't think that's enough, enough to harm, <laughs> except, you, except you get all of them. Oh. And also, if you have, like, no arrows left, you can win bomb. Oh. I hate to see it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think now oh. he's going <laughs> it's for another Korg. Yeah, that's enough. He only needs... Oh, he needs 15. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Hopefully this Lionel doesn't take too much interest in him. Uh, it did. Oh, no, it's not a Lionel. That's a good <laughs> Okay, phew. Oh, some horse uh -huh. section. Okay. <laughs> there is a Lionel up here, just not quite there, so... <laughs> I have to say, horse is... Um, for Koroks, horses are not too bad. In my opinion. Also, if you don't have um, too much food left, can be, horse can be very useful in that case. Well, can I we think see... he. Yeah, go ahead. I think he was checking his map to see if this Korok was still in in the woodlands area. Makes sense. Uh, using that trick, he uh, turned on stasis just to look around and see where that pebble was. That's a really nice trick when you're looking for those Korok pebble ones. I always forget things, uh, to do things like that. I'm just running around. Yeah, it's just, a little, it's just a little thing you can do to help out. <laughs> Let me see how, how much Koroks Yuri Swift is after this one. I'm interested. This is Korok number 18. Okay. So 18 out of 50. Still some to go, but not too bad. Yeah, yeah. I feel like. No, no. 50 Korok is definitely the most time consuming goal of the row. But he also did the camera, which was. which um, uh, consumed a lot of time. And he didn't really have a, he wasn't really able to get up. Oh my god, he wasn't really able to grab Corox during <laughs> that time. So he's uh, a bit behind. Like yeah, right. at the start, he got lots of Corox, and then it slowed down a bit. And now we can grab lo lots again. And also getting some backup food, definitely very important, especially for fifty Corox, since you'll be probably wimbling a lot. And also, probably getting the Korok here. It's also one of the Neo Koroks. I'm not going for it. Oh, the one inside the thorns? Yeah. Does he I know it's one of the Neo ones? I mean, he would grab it anyway because it's yeah, 50 Koroks. Exactly, yeah. Ah, fair enough, yeah. I have to it's laugh just... every time I see anyone get choo-choo jelly during a run because there was one particular run I think I had to upgrade an item that required choo-choo jelly and I could not get any choo-choos to spawn anywhere. It was just uh -huh. the most ridiculous. Yeah, I've definitely been there more than <laughs> once. <laughs> Worst thing and... is if you realize it, if you got choo-choos early spawn, and oh, then yeah. you realize, oh, you need tutu jelly, and then you didn't grab yeah. it, and then you just wait for it. <laughs> Something happened. Oh, I had definitely seen chuchus on the Great Plateau that exact, that exact run, and I said, why didn't I grab the tutu jelly? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're still cooking some food. Always good. Care of. 
So it's how many Koroks is harm? Uh, I didn't pay attention, but we'll probably see soon. So there should be one down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, but going oh, down for Koroks always pretty dangerous since sometimes you gotta go back up again and then. Yeah, I hope he routed times. it out. Like that, he. I hope that he knows how many he still needs and that all of them are available down there. It's number seven. I'm not so sure if there are eight down there. Hold on, let me check. <laughs> I'm worried. Ah, actually, there's lots of down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's like ten or, or nine, but I'm not sure if some of them are like hard to get. Harm doesn't have a bow equipped, or why is that? It look weird. And yeah, he does. Doesn't have arrows. Does he have arrows? Well, he just switched to ice arrows, so it should be fine. Ah, okay, now. okay. <laughs> it's just so I'm like Link looking confused, and I was like, hmm, what was it? Yeah. Why did it work? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say Harm is necessarily behind. I mean, he, he does, he's worked towards a couple goals and he's actively on his way, it seems, to the Hebrew lab, Labyrinth and the 15 Woodland Koroks. Harm just got like half of the. Yeah. <laughs> literally like half of the things done, but none like actually finished yet. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's been working on the long goals as well, like the, the Koroks are pretty long that he's doing right now. But once he has those done, he can easily get to the Labyrinth. And after that, he just needs to get to the Great Fair. I guess he also needs rubies, huh? So that last goal will also take some time to pay three Great Fairies. No harm. He's struggling with fell the... down. Is he trying to get way. back up again, or is he just going for a certain Korok? Interesting. Not sure about it. I know there are two. Yeah, there's at least three, actually. Four. Yeah, there's there's a lot of Koroks up ahead here. So hopefully he's not trying to get quite out of the canyon yet. And they're easier to climb. It's easier to climb up the the forgotten temple-like, you know, facade than it is to climb up just the sheer walls of the canyon. Oh, I see. Because yes, I remember that. <laughs> Coblins and yeah. everywhere. Yo, you luckily had um, some extra heart, so he didn't die from that assault. I should have paid more attention to Yoyo because there's always a Korok in Lanero Koroks that I don't know how to wind bomb away efficiently. But I think he's already done it. Okay. The one of the, the circle? Yeah. And the riders around. I mean, don't you just stand on the Korok um, stone and then wind bomb? I can never get bullet time off of that. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or oh, if a different strat. Fall, falling down a tree, I guess. Yeah, that's what I usually do, but it's a bit annoying with the rider. Yeah, fair enough. Around. I mean, I could just watch a Hondo run or like all Koroks. Oh, he apparently just shield surfed away. Which I guess is a possibility. Oh, well, usually I go uphill though, so it wouldn't work from my routing. Mm -hmm. But I could also change my routing, of course. <laughs> anyway, the runners are still grabbing Koroks. Um, I think Harm is, is he on top of the Forgotten Temple right now? Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah, it's like funny, more. the object map, uh, if you're looking at the Koroks on the object map, um, there's two Koroks that are kind of at the back of the Forbidden Temple. One is... And the other... Uh, 
um, but the object map doesn't show you the elevation difference. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's kind of a tricky thing. You, you, I mean, Corex, you see the little M icon, you, you still have to know really kind of what kind of Corex it is and, and what, you know, how to get it done. Because <laughs> seeing that little picture is, is not going to tell you exactly how to get the Corex. Yeah, indeed. I, I would not have known that. Um, but I, I was like skeptical when I saw the Corex and I was like, hmm, I wonder if one is inside or not, but I didn't want yeah, to say it, anything. I think he is actually giving up on those Koroks. So the one that he's that he's missing is the Magnesis block one. It's it's not very far from him at all. It, and he just it's kind of behind another rock, behind another little area. So. Okay. Oh god, he's kind of trying to wind bomb up, but he keeps hitting the walls, which is very. This looks like a bad. Um... I feel like he should be able to make it out of there with some stamina in management. Uh, probably the best move at this point. Or oh, doing card and all, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Down Don't knock down. <laughs> and this is what we were talking about earlier about, you know, our BTBs um, in this game. We we know Armjan knows them. Uh, he's taken a little bit of a break from Breath of the Wild, it seems, recently. Um, I think he said something about 20 minutes of BTB practice. Wind bomb practicing recently, so might be coming to bite him a little bit. <laughs> Which, of course, no judgment for me, as the the casual who does not do <laughs> wind bombs. <laughs> okay, your Swift just got um, the, his twenty sixth Korok, so it's over half of the Koroks done. Yeah. Oh, and it was the last Lanero Korok as well. Ah, nice. Getting that goal number three. It looks like also heading to the way to Akala. Getting a little bit closer, getting some chorus in the way. That's probably the way to go now for him. Yeah, I hope he still knows the Korox in that area because at least in Bingo, I feel like you don't often get or grab Koroks around that area. Yeah, true. true. Yeah, it might be more wise for him not to super focus on Koroks as he makes his way to Shady Customer and just warp back to somewhere that he might know more Koroks a little oh, more. I know for which Korok he's heading. <laughs> Probably the one on top of the tree. <laughs> I, I thought of the same thing, Apple. <laughs> the, the problem here is um, it tends to rain there, so... Yeah, I mean, it's Sora's domain, so it will always run, rain. Oh, yeah, right, since Ruda hasn't done yet. So, it's, it's quite uh, very much harder than um, when it does, doesn't rain, since you can't just climb the tree with yeah, one but, stamina bar. But looks like but he's not going for it. Good decision. Yeah. He either knows that the Korok is really annoying, or he doesn't know that the Korok exists. I don't know. Both is very good. <laughs> Both good decisions, yeah. All right, so we see Harmion is making great progress in his goal of the Labyrinth Trial of the Cliff Shrine quest. Uh, I will mention, though, how does he initiate? Did he initiate the quest? I did not notice that. I don't remember. You just I think you get enter. it once you, once you enter it. Right. Mm -hmm. It gives it to you. Okay, you don't need to talk to an NPC. Great. Yeah, there will be like a mysterious voice um, <laughs> yeah. giving you the quest. <laughs> And grabbing a diamond, definitely yeah. not bad for the grief yeah. fairies. Mm -hmm. Good map knowledge or just game knowledge. Also, there's like there could be something I don't know. Is there something good in the chest? Oh, the Bosphorian outfit. It's probably also a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, that should sell for around 600 if I'm not mistaken. It's not mm -hmm. bad as well. Ah, there's has actually more synergy in this road than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting that you can also, also sell equipment. So if I think money... Oh, well, I guess I'm not the only one who forgets. Um, what was I about to I say? the rank quest completed there. Yeah, that's the important part. Box is first square. 
Oh, he didn't get all the woodland Koroks? Hold on. Um, looks like it. Oh, okay, there's woodland Koroks uh, if he does a wind bomb like southeast. There's one. And there's some more uh, east. <clears throat> he shouldn't some more east of the labyrinth. Many. I think he only needs like three max. <clears throat> Not sure what he's doing. I think he checked the map border <laughs> again. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Looked very interesting. Yeah, near the dark forest over there, there are some more Koroks. It's kind of hard to get there. Yeah, you can yeah. get there in one super launch, or if you have some stamina food, you can do a couple bit there. Probably not a bad idea going to the mid stone. Okay, yes, he. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just instantly going for the midairs. And that's a death, right? Because... Nah, he was ragdolling, yeah. so he's fine. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Should not... Should not be enough. Just gets a really long load for some reason. Yeah, that's... Insanely long. <laughs> Wait. It could I be a lag see... on the stream. <laughs> I don't see the thing progressing, yeah. Don't say me his internet died just with that... Uh, um... <laughs> Okay, falling I... down there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we're gonna focus on Yo-Yo's Korok collection for a bit. Now, now the loading wheel disappeared in Harm's screen. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, Yo-Yo grabbing some Elden Koroks. Oh yeah, that's one, one neat thing about Elden Koroks. Like, if you see that square, you you might think, oh no, I have to grab the flame armor or some flame elixir. Or fi fireproof elixir. Because it's hot in Elden, but there's actually lots of them that are at, around the foothill stable, I'm pretty sure is its name. Okay, and yeah, those are easy and quick. Within the bingo sync chat, that he's disconnected, so it seems like uh, his whole like an internet, internet issue. and Ooh. the timing on that with the void out. I wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adams, we're just gonna have to hope that uh, his internet comes back soon and he can resume the stream. Yeah. I assume he keeps playing. So it shouldn't be a, lot, a big of disadvantage. Yeah, the thing is just we, we don't see what's going on. That's the main problem. Probably in this same scenario. Mm. We can assume what he's doing. Oh, okay, he, he went bombing to the cork. Oh no, he died again. <laughs> <laughs> Number 33, and getting yes. pretty close to 50 Koroks. But also it's progressing to Gakala. Inspirational, Swift. Picking up all these Koroks. Making it look like easy work. <laughs> True. Yeah, I'm really impressed by this Korok knowledge. So I wish I would do those things. <laughs> Yeah, like, like not, not only does he know that there's a Korok down here, he also knows exactly where the magnetic block is. I'm pretty sure I've never been down here at all. <laughs> Me neither. I think I've gotten that Korok. <laughs> uh, we might have an issue going on. Uh, yeah, it's, it looks like we're gonna go for a pause. Pause, pause, pause. To break. Okay. Uh, that might, yeah, that looks like Mule's... Is uh is telling, trying to tell. Swift <laughs> <Ripped> a pause. <laughs> and getting some color on the board, some brighter colors. Yeah, we've I've known Mules to say this before that he he uses uh, obvious colors to indicate something to okay. a player. Okay. Swift pause. <laughs> nice. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to give Harmion a uh, benefit of the doubt, a favor. 
Yeah, we see. I see his online on Do Not Disturb in Discord. So he might have like, um, phone. It's like online with his phone or something. That's true. Yeah, you're actually uh, my phone versus on browser. Hope um, he's gonna respond soon. Having... IRL. RNG has actually taken out, I think, two of our <laughs> rounds so far, actually, cause, causing forfeits or different things. Hopefully, this is not one of the situations. I guess we can talk a bit more about the routes that they chose. Like COM5 that we didn't look at that much. Uh, it ended up having some good synergy with the Labyrinth and the Bottle and Koroks being on the same side. Mm -hmm. And as we as you mentioned, the Getting easy armor. Money. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If I, I probably would have grabbed a shrine somewhere along the way just because... Um, I mean, like he he got all the way to the labyrinth. Um, getting back out, my I mean, we, we don't know. It, maybe he's already out of there, but <laughs> that's when his his stream got paused. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, that's just something that I've learned within my own bingo play is that I often focus so much on okay, I just got to get to where I'm going. You know, like I'm and that's I'm focusing all of my energy on that, and then I get that done, and then I realize, oh wait, wait how am I getting to my next goal? You know, uh -huh. is it really, you know, the, the last shrine that I happened to get the warp portal for, is, is that really a convenient place to go? Or, yeah. So it, mi it might have been worth his while to go the other way around castle to grab... Well, actually, no, there's not even a shrine that really would have been that helpful. Yeah, I mean, maybe Monia Torba. Yeah. No. yeah. Or he could have also um, routed the Koroks better in a way that he is finished at the Labyrinth and then can just warp away, finish the cooking quests. But uh, that's pretty hard to do. Like, with only five minutes routing time, it's hard to route every single Korok that you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Well, and yeah, like we were saying, I mean, he clearly... It seemed like he gave up on the the Korax at the back of the Forbidden or Forgotten, sorry, Forgotten Temple, <laughs> um, and that that could have been within his plan. But again, if you don't actually know where those Korax are, uh -huh. got to reroute. I have to say, yeah. I have to say it also sounds like a Forbidden Temple because if you step <laughs> in there, ten guardians just look at you, try to kill you. All right, we see that Harmion has reconnected to the bingo sink. So there is hope. Mm -hmm. It's a good sign, at least. Let's see if he also can, can reconnect with the stream. It'd be nice. So waiting for an answer there is from some Harm. hope. <laughs> we haven't heard yet anything from Harm. So, no message we can rely on. Yeah, maybe starting the stream sometimes takes a bit longer because OBS has to start up and then connecting. Also be nice if Harm could write something in the chat so we know <laughs> <laughs> what's Still happening. He reconnected, so... But I yeah, I feel like Arm had the right idea that he, like, after the labyrinth, he knew that there's some yeah. um, Koroks on the east of it. So he wanted okay. to win from there. Um, it issues. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> the OBS crash as well. <laughs> so, for internet followed by OBS. All right. Oof. So, we're gonna, <laughs> gonna reset it as well, I guess. But looks like we can continue once um, Harm is reconnected. 
does seem that way. Phew. I would say too many other of the matches has been messed up. Uh -huh. I wonder which 30 fountains harm is going to go for. Mm. There's the option to go to the one in Akala, which is pretty far away from the other two. Or you could go to Tabantha and Gerudo, which are somewhat close to each other. Interesting. Yeah, you're right. That's just a lot of travel left for him. Indeed. Let me see. Fairy Fountains. He also has to go back to Kakariko for Coco. And Can maybe from ever there. run all dungeons? Because I feel like the all dungeons travel would get you to the Tabantha one very quickly. Harm did it's run all dungeons, but oh. I think that was bug limit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or before BTBs at least. All dungeons. Two years ago was his PB. Okay. <laughs> some time. Some time passed since then. No one has won yet. Um, we're just waiting for Harm's internet and OBS to come back. Could this be Which considered shouldn't... icing icing the player? Poor Yo Yo Swift is just sitting around waiting. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I mean, technically he could route a little bit, but That's maybe true. he already has. Maybe he knows every cork he's going to go for. <laughs> Yeah, I think your route from here on will be a lot um, more straightforward. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still there's a lot of like micro routing going on on which cogs he's gonna grab, but he like the ba the basic idea is go to the shady customer quest and grab all the cogs on the way. Oh, speaking yeah, of the shady exactly. customer quest. Uh -huh. There's two ways to do that quest. You either go to Kilton first, take the photo, and then go to the NPC at the stable to do the quest. That has a risk, though, because um, the NPC is very, very picky with which photo he's going to accept. Like, you have to be like really close to him or at a certain angle. I'm not quite sure myself. So it's just making a photo shooting with Kilton should work, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess that could work. But if you get the quest first, the game will tell you whether or not the photo works, right? Exactly, yeah. That would be yeah. the other possibility. It, it is a bit slower because you have to go to the stable twice. We can just grab the, um, the shrine near the stable for the teleport as well. Yeah, that's so true. That I wonder if that's faster than the wind bombing back. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Maybe sure wind bomb that. and a really good midair or something could be faster, but I, I'm not too familiar with that area. There is a shrine, I mean, right by the NPC at least. So you could grab the shrine at the stable. Yeah, yeah. But like still, is it faster to walk back to the shrine or is it faster to wind bomb back to the stable? That's a good question. Exactly but it's probably right. not a big difference. And uh, warping is way easier. Warping doesn't need any food as well. So you might as well just warp for that. Be team warp, but... Okay. So, um, harm is being live, but we don't have his stream yet so should be live soon hopefully oh, oh. there it is Yay. that looks very good Woo. let's go so we are waiting awesome. for the probably waiting for everyone to be ready okay both are ready um we're about to get a countdown and Three, two, one, and go. They can go again. 
you. <laughs> okay. Hammer, in the meantime, gets back to the woodland Koroks. Back oh, to yeah, the region. He, yeah, he got out of the cold region. That is at least a good part of that break. So both had a little bit of progress they made. Doing some shutdown there. Blackout. Yeah, back, yeah. <laughs> Different kind of blackout. <laughs> and harm is 12 Koroks, so that means only 3 more wooden Koroks and he should be done with the goal. The big thing would be, after this is probably traveling to the 3 Great Fairy Fountains, or like the mm -hmm. two other ones. Mm -hmm. He hasn't got. he does it. have to make it back to um, Kakariko at some point to finish Coco. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think he can really get to any fairy fountains from Kakariko, so yeah, you just have to warp there and then yeah. warp away again. Mm -hmm. Unless he goes to Akala, then Kakariko might be the fastest warp spot. Mm -hmm. oh, I hope he grabbed Talonaig as a warp spot in Kakariko. I hope so as well, because he definitely needs to get there. <laughs> but I think he did. I think he thought about that. Well, Zero Swift's on 36 Koroks, so only 14 more, and he's done with his Amazing 50 Koroks. Looks very good for him as well. And, like, very close to Akala already. Doesn't need to go too far anymore. Just over that hill, there should be the stable. I wonder if Harmy uses the Koroks that he already gathered to determine the location of the next Korok, because he's using the map quite often. Ah, that could be actually a good idea. It's not... I haven't thought about that. Yeah, because you, you, if you don't have the map in-game, like the discovered map that you get when you activate the tower, it can be really hard to orientate yourself like where you actually are. Okay, Swift is, looks like it's really good with Koroks. Indeed. Just went to that spot where the rock is to pick it up and set it down in the right spot. Yeah. I mean, at the start of the bingo, someone mentioned that Yo Yo knows Hondo really well and looks like they were right. Yeah, I, was, I think it was C2W who said, who's, who said he saw Swift posting things in Hondo chat in, in this oh, okay. <laughs> Stalker. <laughs> you see Harman struggling with nighttime a little bit. Got some. Well, I guess you still can get keys oh. during the day. <laughs> okay, he's that fine. I'm gonna go clip. <laughs> Good surprise. It's the price it actually did not hit him like more. It's like only one and a half hearts or something. Oh, true. But yeah, actually, he was kind of lucky that he didn't him. get knocked off. Oh, yeah, that could have been really, really bad. Like getting wrecked, um, just wrecked all the way there, <laughs> something. Mm -hmm. Would have been a perfect, perfect wild thing to do. He has a good mid there, mid there as well. Indeed. Very close to the Akala Tower here. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna go there because there's lots of Ak um, Koroks oh, on yeah, the tower. Actually pretty easy Koroks on the tower, I think so. Yeah. It is a bit hard to grab them because they're so um, on different levels of the tower. But I'm sure if you have a good route, then they're really quick. So we see Harmian going back to the canyon to get the Korok, and then it His last Korok? Warping out? Yeah, he's going back to Talonegg. Alright. That means he got the warp spot, that's also really good. Mm -hmm. Probably getting the last um, cooking side quest from Coco. 
Okay, I think that was the first time that I actually see Yo-Yo looking for a Korok. <laughs> uh, and probably also he's gonna sell some stuff to get that money. Ooh, ah, cool. looks like he might be doing some speed strats with this uh, crate here. No. <laughs> oh, we see a uh, this launch. Interesting. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Another clip! Another clip for the collection! <laughs> I'm sorry, chat, to give away the reaction there, <laughs> but that was, oh man, too unfortunate. Okay, how am I got this dubious food? No, it's taking cook, off everything at once. Cook the single tutu jelly. Beautiful. It could become quite a close race, depending on Harm's knowledge of movement towards fairy fountains. It's true. And how many Koroks is that for yeah. today? Some 40, so 10 more Koroks. Oof. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, this is getting close. This can be a I don't tough know, there's race There's a lot of movement for Harm, yeah. There's just a lot of movement, so. And, a, and 10 more Koroks, yeah. Yeah, 10 seems like not that many. 10 aren't that many if you know what they are. Yeah. yeah. I bet Swift is uh, sweating just a little bit seeing Harm marking off three squares pretty much in a row. True. It's a very scary sight. You gotta keep your calm and keep moving on. Yeah, also with the Figured Fairies thing, you never know how many. <laughs> if he's got the money or if he's already like done two or not only needs one more mm. kind of well same for 50 koroks though like harm has no okay. idea how close swift is to winning true yeah the, the good thing about um the koroks are that you can basically grab them along the way like he does one wind bomb towards shady customer and um when he lands from the wind bomb, he can grab a Korok if he routes it well. Which I'm sure he does because. I saw some uh, trees up there. Yeah, it's like some a matching Korok. Suspicious trees. We like to call them matchy matchy Koroks. <laughs> you know. Matchy matchy. They're pretty useful since you get. Um, <laughs> It's really easy with the stasis method, where it just stasis the fruit or the object that is in the tree that um, needs to needs to be yeah, the same. Yeah. <laughs> then you can just fell the tree and grab all the other food. It's very useful for backup food and fast Korok. Wait, where is harm going? Looks like he's in... What is this, like Satori Mountainish area? Alright, he... currently he's on Plateau is... in the Magnesis oh, Forest. No, he's, he's still in, oh, he's still there, uh, okay. Interesting. Maybe looking for the... Talos? Talos, yeah, I think so. Or just arrows, oh. actually. I guess he's not done with the money routing. Well, Although, I guess he could... Go ahead. An anyway. ore. I feel like there's an ore that's in a chest right below the Shrine of Resurrection. Yeah, I know, I know, I know it is, it's, uh, there's a flint, yeah, but it should be an opal and close, but the opal oh. is like not really worth much. Yeah, it's actually not, yeah, I would think the talus would be a better play. Yeah, probably going for the talus right now. Yeah. It's like it. If, if Harm is deciding to go for the Tabantha Fairy Fountain, there is a quest along the way that gives you 500 rupees, I think. Yeah, yeah, the guy just says, hey. Give, you know, go and do this for me, and then mm -hmm. yeah, you, you never have to really, especially in Bingo, you don't have to report back to him or anything. Yeah, so if he if he sells his diamond and does that quest, he's probably fine. He also has like a ruby or two. Oh, but yeah, then again, it depends on which fountains he's gonna grab. Okay, Swift on his way to getting a quick snap. Also getting Koroks in the way again. Pretty smart. Wow. 
grabbing corks while dancing around stall moblins. At 44 corks. Only six more to go. Okay. It looks I also like... quick note. For mm. the shady customer, it has to be night, because otherwise Kilton will not be there. Mm. So he actually has to deal with those um, stealth as enemies. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just, just god night, so it's enough time to get there. Doesn't have to worry. That's, yeah. that's just gonna leave at some point. I wonder if he planned that or if it was just luck. I haven't seen. Maybe he actually um, did sleep on a campfire or something or a cooking pot at a staple. I didn't see it, but I did. All right, looks like Harm is making his way towards Gerudo and Wasteland. Okay, getting that Gerudo Fairy Fountain, I guess. Mm hmm. Did he already sell the stuff? Nope. Okay. Gonna probably go in. Um, we take a short break at Karaka Bazaar and take in and sell some stuff, maybe? Yeah, that's probably the best call because you can't sell in Gerudo Town without the clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you could just get there, activate the shrine that's next to the fairy fountain. And then just warp to. Um, yeah. It wouldn't be optimal, probably. Yeah, probably not. But it's it's one way of doing it if you realize too late. I also don't know, maybe he already has enough money for that. <laughs> this is the last Korok yet. Looks like he's going making his way to Karakara Bazaar. Yeah, gonna land there and... Oh, that means he's gonna get the cutscene as well. Yeah, that's the bad thing about it, but probably couldn't avoid it there. It was too close already. Mm. He didn't have any... any more stamina. Bad thing is just about the first cutscene that also Zelda talks after it. Um, that's really the <laughs> most annoying thing I have in Bingos. <laughs> so they're talking about, oh, these are Divine Beasts, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We know, we know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, and Swift just got to... to Kelton. Oh, taking several pictures from different angles. Good, good yeah. call. Very nice. One of those has to work, right? Oh, it helps. He actually was at the stable, but didn't take the quest, it seems. Selling stuff to Beetle. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, had enough, enough. he had enough money. He already had 500 um, for, oh. for the last one. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Now he has two um, two thousand, so that should be enough for two fairy fountains. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Well he needs to get there. Yeah, and he's and running not eat dubious foods. <laughs> a little bit low, it seems, on food. Comparatively. Food is not looking too good. I don't know how his um other foods, um like the normal food, the not cooked food. Or... Yeah. Inventory looks like, but it's gonna be tough. Of... Gonna be tough for sure because it's also hot in the desert. Exactly. Yeah, right. So even walking is not an option. Oh, and Joyo marking the last square and taking the win. Oh my gosh! Let's go. Those last couple. That was fast. Yeah. That was fast. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Really impressive performance from Yoyo. Uh, finishing 50 Koroks in just a little, little bit up of one hour. Yeah, from them both. Wow. Damn. Impressive. Well, 
as always, I hope our runners can join us into voice chat here. We'd love to hear from them about this board. Yeah, probably, however, we're not joining. <laughs> Her doesn't like to speak in chats, voice chats. So maybe we're going to get the interview with Yoyo Swift. I think he has the role to join here, so if he wants to. Just waiting for him. You know what's also interesting? Both runners went for a different role than the commentators would have chosen. Or at least, I, I think you two also would have chosen row five. I would have gone for row five, yes. Yeah, but they had yeah, the he was probably he was probably very solid with Corox and thought um it had it had good um synergy overall. Uh -huh. yeah, I I mean, would have have had to get a horse to get to to Bantha and to Akala fairies, but I, I <laughs> might have done it. You can't take a horse to the other the other fairies, so I would not have done that. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, Yoga Swift. GG on your run. GG. It was a really good um, performance there. Got the, those 50 Koroks really fast. Yeah, I'm happy with how I routed out all the Koroks. Yeah, we are amazed. Very well done on that Korok routing. <laughs> we're talking about them. Um, were you learning Handel at some point? Did you know that many Koroks or...? Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, oh, very exciting. I also watch a lot of Hundo, so I'm, I know a lot of the Koroks. Ah, nice. Okay. Beautiful. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that definitely helped you in this bingo. Like, all the Korok knowledge was very useful. Mm -hmm. So with you, we concluded the first round of the bingo bash. Moving so on Swift, to... if you didn't have done, if it had not have done column one, what column would have you have chosen? Or what row or line? <laughs> Was your backup? I was thinking column three originally. Okay. Um, which is which is interesting because it has remake champion weapon or shield, but I was going to do meadow, and then I could get like the diamond on Satori, and then I could easily remake the great eagle bow, and then do the rest of that stuff. Okay. I was so... between column one and column three, but then I ended up picking column one. All right. Cool. Yeah, column one worked out really well. It was uh, I like the synergy between uh, like all of us commentators were really skeptical when when we realized that we were going for fifty Koroks, but then Mules said that it synergizes well with twelve Ladero Koroks, so basically you only had thirty eight extra Koroks. And yeah, we were really really impressed when we saw that um, that that was your idea. There definitely was a lot of Koroks, but. It worked out well. You wrote them out very good in the Kala. That was that was very cool. Really fast of how we got them. How close was Harm John on, on the Great Fairies? Um he got one out of three and wasn't was like wasn't Gerudo. And, and he had all the money there. for Yeah, the money two. was there. <laughs> yeah, I figured. So it was so, it was close. Exactly. So Swift, we were seeing that you have a great mini games time. Sad there were no mini games in <laughs> the sport. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. had deer hunting mini game. Yeah, there was deer hunting. Oh, Actually, was. That's true. I was thinking about that at the very, very start. Possibly <laughs> deer hunting, but there's nothing that really works well with it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it had like Leviathan bones or mm -hmm. um, full Sora set. Both not really. Yeah. The greatest things you want to do there. Oh man. <laughs> we definitely picked out the um, route well. So that worked out pretty good. I also uh, want to chime in and just say thank you for, for pausing. That uh, Those kind of situations are always a little scuffed, but uh, I appreciate yeah, that. No problem. <laughs> Internet troubles are always uh, not fun to deal with. So. Thanks, Harm, for uh, figuring all that shit out and dealing with that. That's never fun. Um, but GG's. Uh, you'll be moving on to round two to face uh, Suyo. And 
as we said, that completes round one. We have our top 16. We do. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Um, so ideally, assuming the schedule works out, um, all eight of these matches will be taking place uh, in the next week sometime. Um, and then after this round, we will begin matches with custom boards, which is very exciting. Um, yeah. Uh, on, next up on the schedule, we have uh, Super Mario Sunshine Bingo at 5 p.m., but until then, we don't really have anything. So we will be raiding... Um, Smitchman one who is running any percent. Um, do you guys have any uh, closing remarks? Just um, very good run, GG, and thank you for the restream. Oh, of course, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you to, GG to the both. Stream. Thanks for commentating. Yeah, yeah, we are excited <laughs> to keep this moving on. Wait, wait. All right, with that, I uh, hope everyone has a good rest of their day slash night. And uh, we will see you back here soon for some Super Mario Sunshine Bingo action. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. All right.